Let's read the Bible and Arma lang Bible. Romans 9. Roman 9. From verse 30. Utwa u verse 30. To 32. Tell me, but this is your message. Let me read. Amen. What shall we say then that the Gentiles who follow not after righteousness attain to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith, but Israel, following after a law of righteousness, did not arrive at that law? Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it is where by works, they stumble at the stone of stumbling. Can you see that verse there? Amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I was reading this. I began to see that we might not be understanding faith very well. Just write works of faith. Works of faith. Because here we can see that the Bible takes us back by the time of Israelites. That the Israelites because they could not receive faith. Therefore, they use the law and try to practice it according to their ability. Because it was not out of faith, they always failed. In other words, faith, faith brings the works that are original. Just tell your neighbor, faith brings original works. So there are, are works obtained by faith. As you can see there, you will see that the Israel, though they were trying to do it as they were born, without faith, always they will stumble. They will find themselves doing what they are not supposed to do, which was contrary to what is written in the word. In other words, the word of God brings faith to us so that when the faith is complete, we do the works which are I mean, I mean, which are permanent, which, which are complete. complete. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me say it again. The, the word, the word of God produces faith in us. But that faith makes us to have works which are complete. You know, I was just reading this, I realized that if you read the book of James 2 verse 22, it shows that we cannot say we have works and we say we have faith. All these things work together. And also faith through obedience produces works. Tell them about faith through obedience produces faith. In other words, it is faith that becomes complete by the works we are doing. Therefore, we cannot say I have faith without a complete work. After I have read this, I said a Christian who has got the word of God by faith, he can go anywhere and prosper. Because what he will do there, it will be complete and is what is required. I don't know if you are hearing that. So if you look at that verse, it shows that works make faith to be complete. In other words, don't say you have faith if you don't have works. You know, I was reading that I began to say most of the time we are trying to show people works that if they are being checked, we find is not of faith. Therefore, we stumble another way or another. We always stumble from another way to another. Because the works we are showing is the ability and effort 
the works we are doing is Bishu out of the, the power we are having. Uh, not from God. God. If it's from God, it's from I the word. And establishing faith and that will produce works that will bring us a complete work. Uh, how many of you are hearing what I'm talking about? So therefore, if so you have he, faith, and therefore you will have works and those works are there forever and those works nobody can compete and with them. no one can them. no one can block them you know we are living in a time whereby we, 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 we assume faith and we bring it to our own understanding Always we use our perspectives to define faith. But when we come to the works, our works are not visibly showing that those works are coming from faith. And this really affects the results of faith, which are the works that are needed. I don't know if you're hearing that. They are works that are needed. The works that are needed are the works that glorify God. Can you see, I can go to the bush and start a church there. But because of the works from faith, people will follow me there. Do you know why we are copying each other? Because we are lacking faith. And now we end up trying to copy works. So that our faith will be valid. Tell you about many of times we copy works. So that our faith will be valid. We want to prove that our works are coming from our faith. But many times you find it's from our efforts. I don't know if you're hearing that. Are you sure you have works? Are you sure you have works? And your neighbor say what? So this is the issue that our Christianity is, has been turned to another way out. Because by the time of Jesus, when he came to say, my father is working, that's why I work. No one understands him. But when you talk about his works, everybody will say, yeah, we are seeing it. Because, listen to this, this is not the time of talking too much. It's the time of works. So, but if our works are not coming from our faith, we are deceivers. This is not the time that we have to fake anything. Because remember we have the word. And so the word produce faith. And the faith must show by the works. And those works are, are, must be shown that they are coming from God. I'm expecting someone who's listening to me to have works that shows that are coming from God. I don't know if, I don't know if you're hearing that. Can you just read 2 Timothy? Maybe you'll understand. From chapter 3, 16 to 17. Chapter 3, I, I want 16 to 17. To read that verse. Just, just, just read that, Mama. All scripture is God breathed, given by divine inspiration. Stop there. All scriptures God breathed by divine inspiration. Okay? And is profitable for instruction, for Pro conviction, uh -huh. conviction of sin, for correction of error and restoration to obedience. In other words, scriptures are there to make us complete before God. Uh -huh. okay. For training in righteousness. Training righteousness, it means we have got a place where we are going. If, if there's issue of training if in righteousness, if you call about training, somebody must be qualified. If we talk about training, somebody has to be qualified. Okay, carry on, Mama. Learning to live in conformity to God's will, both publicly and privately. 
uh-huh. behave behaving honorably uh-huh. with personal integrity and moral courage. In other words, the scriptures are there to mold us. To, to a level where we can produce works that we will do them only inside or we will do them all the time. And if you can read the, the scriptures when you are reading them the trainers in other words we have to be qualified to be able to produce works and those works and will be yeah. seen inside and outside. Or oh, will be visible everywhere oh, we go. I don't know where you are getting power, but nah, the Bible, Bible says from the scriptures, scriptures, if you can see the works, we will be qualified to do the work. The basic level here that we have been given, which is the foundation, is the word of God, the scriptures. And the scriptures are the foundation of our works. So, those scriptures train us. I just want to use the word train so that you can you understand this qualification. I can give you an example. You cannot be a a, a professor, or let me say, you cannot be a doctor without writing thesis. I'm just giving you an example. In other words, you must go through some channels so that when you are going to do what you are doing there, it qualifies you and brings the glory of God where you are doing. I don't know if you are hearing that. You know, maybe when you say the name of Jesus, people must see that you are qualified. When, whatever you are doing in the house of God, people must see that you are qualified. When you are qualified, you, you, know, you don't care who say what. Because there's endorsement of you. There's authority you have been given. And a position you have been set. And you are on the course. So you cannot fail. I don't, I don't know if you are hearing what, me. What, what, the problem we are having is we don't know that the scriptures are there to make us the way God wants us to be. We are trained to do something. It has to be the good work. So now, the works must be visible. But, but doing them very fast before you are well trained is dangerous. I, I don't know if you are hearing me. I said the works must be visible. That's why sometimes you, you are meeting this, you are meeting That's that. Why because you are on the training training. so that you reach a level. There's a certain level where when you reach there, you will be unstoppable and blockable. I don't know if you are hearing me. Listen, from today, I don't care what you are facing. But, but you are on the course. You are in a level where you are being trained to qualify. So where are the works today? If not, you will copy others. If not, you will try to do what other people are doing. If not, you won't live your life. So, because the works makes our faith complete. You remember, our faith places God. Automatically, even the works that we do will please what? Will please God. So now, if we are just doing things, very soon we will be tired. That is why sometimes you do something tomorrow, you won't do it. Because you are not qualified. The moment when you see the mistake, or you see pressures, you are going to stop because your works are not valid. I think this, this, you know, this lesson is teaching us that when, when you come to your church, you are on your own. So when you come to your church, you are on your own. When you leave your church, you are on your own. Can you tell your neighbor that? Uh-huh. I can't hear you. Can you hear you? Listen, 
I've seen that the works of faith, even when you are doing that, it it it's not over there. You are still going to face the challenge when you are doing it. Because you do one. And you want to do two. Before you go to, you will be challenged on what you have done. That's why Jesus said, that is why Jesus said, you know, the, the work of God is like when you build a house on a rock. You know, after that, the wind comes. So you do something, you are challenged after you are doing it. Don't ever think everything is fine. You do something, you face a challenge. So that you must not do, you must not continue. I don't know if you are hearing me. So those challenges must be there to prove that you are doing right. But don't stop there. Carry on there. Because you are on your course. You are on your assignment. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I want to show you when Jesus was speaking in John 9 verse 1. I just want us to, to read that verse louder in your Bible. Read verse 1, it says what? Verse 1, uh -huh. While he was passing by, he noticed a man who had been blind from birth. Uh -huh. His disciple asked him, Rabbi, teacher, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he will be born blind? Mm. Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but it was so that the works of God might be displayed and illustrated in him. Okay, stop there. I want us to look at that because as Christians, I think we are one-sided. One time I was telling people that there's, there's a biggest ministry that we pastors we are living. It's a ministry of healing. I said, that's the ministry of Jesus. I said, Our focus now is prophecy. But we are we are forgetting about this ministry. So the ministry of healing shows that God is there, it's working. Can you see here, you know why Jesus said this? When he was speaking with them, when he answered them, but he, he just said, okay, who, okay, look here, what happened to this man? And these guys, you know, already they knew what they've been taught. Because the people who taught these guys, when they fail to do the work, they blame. The moment when they fail, they say, no, you, don't, you don't have faith, your faith is wrong. Can you say you are failing to heal the person? You know, you just say the faith is small. For example, look, look at the church where there will be issues of interpreting. Let, let, let me show you, let me show I'm you. you. I'm just giving you an example. I'm not saying this must not be done. But, but, but we, are, we are forgetting the works of Jesus. Can you just say, Mama, Hallelujah? Hallelujah. Yes. Can you just say, Mama, Hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can you say, Amen, Mama? <laughs> Amen. This shows that. We are not in the ministry of healing. Can you just say God is working here? A God is working here. <laughs> this shows that we don't believe in the power of the Creator. <laughs> is it not true? I <laughs> it. Huh? This shows that we are so weak that we have to find a way of making people to understand that we are weak. Because we are not reaching a level whereby we can trust God for their healing. What we need to do, we have to find a way of making them to understand that they are born that way. So, this 
the time of Jesus it was like that. So these guys he asked them so who sinned here? Because automatically when you have got a problem they can solve it it's your sin. I mean this man was born blind so who sinned? These are the disciples asking Jesus because they have been taught something else. Jesus said no. This guy you know for him to be like this is for the works of God to manifest. Think about it. Tell them about the way you are. It's for the works of God to manifest. Uh, we are, we are, you know, when I'm speaking with you like this, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but we are so much stereotyped. I mean, there's Almost, if you can look at the majority of Christians in the world, it's 10% all over the world. Not long I found that people who are coming here, uh, people who are going to synagogue, or people who are going to another church. I found, that, I found that we are so few. When we look at the percentage, we are just turning around churches. We are just turning around. We don't know what to do now. We don't know where we are going. We don't know, we don't know anything. Why? Because we are neglecting the best part. And the best part is coming from the scriptures. And from that scripture, faith is born. And when faith is born, the works of faith will follow. When the work of faith follows, God will be glorified. That's all. That is Christianity. It's not speaking in tongues. And we don't know interpretations. It's works. Visibility of things. Works shows that there have to be a mess and, and gravity. Uh, I don't know if you're hearing me. There, there have to be a weight. Something must move from here to there. We cannot just look aside and we say we are Christians when we are failing in this simple thing that Jesus was showing. Why Jesus said, I have come but I'm going to the Father. What I have done, which is the works I was doing, you will do. And you will even do about. But what are we doing today? What are we doing today? What are we doing today? It seems as if this is a different faith now. This is the faith of getting money now. When I don't have anything to do, God has called me. If I don't have anything to do, I'm called, I'm a prophet. I'm an apostle now. But I have not even left my village. But I'm an apostle now. I'm a pastor without any congregant. I'm a Christian without works. So the question is, where is our faith? Ask me, where is your faith? Show us your faith by your works. I don't know what you are able to do is, is to come to you sit down and you say amen I've been prayed for from there you go to another one also you sit down and you become prayed for you'll be prayed for and you'll have a bald on your head even other hands that are sitting on top of your head they will give you a headache that will never be stand up and do something in your church stand up and do something in your own church in faith just stand up and do something when you go to church you run and say I have to be in church there is something I have to do the small thing that people are looking down on are the things that are worthy before the Lord those things that people are looking down are the ones that are big before the Lord 
Look at what Samuel was doing. Every day in the morning he will wake up and open the windows of the temple. When Eli was still the pastor there, the children of Eli, where were they? The children of Eli, where were they? There were spoiled children. They will wake up and eat. There was nothing they were doing. And they will sleep with girls. Because Eli was famous. Even the children were famous too. When Jesus was looking. No, which one must we choose? And the mother said, there is a little boy in the temple. There is a little boy in the church. And this little boy is doing something in the house of the Lord. This little boy is doing something. And she wakes up and opens the windows. This boy is still sleeping by then. And God has not raised somebody who does not stand up. I just wanted to speak to Benda. Because you people, you don't listen, you don't hear. From now when you go out from church, I want to prosper. Hey, hey, I want to prosper. I want to be a prophet. I want to be a prophet and prophesy. But you haven't even started sweeping your own church. You want to be a prophet of who? Whose prophet do you want to be? You thought, hey, I mean, if I can be a prophet, I will tell people and I will be what one I will start my own puzzle. You will never get right. Your words must start from faith. They must be vain, begin at faith. Your works must start right there where you are. Let us not preach this gospel like we are praying. Yeah, 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 I want to be what, what, what. When we look at you, we don't know where you are coming from and where we are going. When we ask about scriptures, which scripture do you know? There is nothing. You don't even know one verse. But hey, hey, hey. You, we are in people, you go to the mountain. But I was in a verse. But you don't even know one verse. Yeah. When you wake up in the mountain, you go to, uh, uh, the morning you go to the mountain. You are afraid you are lazy to work. Izulu is on them seven. We will enter heaven by our works. We don't go to heaven by going to the mountain. <laughs> Look at Jesus here. Jesus say, hey, can you see these people? I'm here to do the works. Because my father has been working, so I work. My father has been working, so I work. You know, this is the time that you people, when you work, you say, my father has been working, I'm working. You don't look who's around. You don't look how many people. Our judgment won't go by how many people are following us, but by the works. Not by how many people are following us. I will show you what Paul said. Look at the scripture you will see. Colossians 1. 28-29. Paul said, Just look at the scripture. It will really challenge you. What Paul said there. A man who says, woe to me if I don't preach the gospel. If you read verse 28, read 28. Verse 28. Uh -huh. Colossians 1. 28-29. We proclaim him, uh -huh. warning and instructing everyone in all wisdom uh -huh. that is with comprehensive insight into the word and purpose of God so that we may present every person complete in Christ. 
mature, fully trained, and perfect in him. Are you reading the anointed? Is it uplifted Bible? Yes. Just read it again, Mama. You, it, listen to that verse. It's important. We proclaim him warning and instructing everyone in all wisdom. That is with comprehensive insight into the word and purpose of God. Stop there. Comprehensive insight into the word. We make sure that everybody understands the word to become mature. And so that we present you as matured people before God. You know, I think this is the time that you, you young people when somebody speaks with you, he speaks the word. It's very much exciting. The word is exciting. Even the Bible says, you know, our words must be seasoned with salt. You know why? Because what we speak is what we do. If now we don't speak the word, it shows that we are not doing it. Paul said, we are going to work and we will use all wisdom and make sure that everybody understands the way so that we present a person mature. You know, you know what is important for you to get to? Stay in the word, understand the word so that when you start to work, you know what you're doing. I don't know if you're hearing me. Let me show you what the Bible says. Maybe it will help us. Arrest. Mm. Okay, look at this one. If we read First Peter two ten. Peter chapter two verse ten. This one will also blow your mind. Can you just read from ten to twelve, Mama? Once you were not a people at all. You were not people at all. Now you are God's people. Now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy. Mm -hmm. But now you have received mercy. Okay. Behold, I urge you as aliens and strangers in this world to abstain from the sensual edges, those dishonorable desires mm. that wage war against the soul. Yes. Keep your behavior excellent among the unsaved Gentiles. Conduct yourself honorably with gracious and integrity. So that for whatever reason they may slander you as evildoers, yes, yet by observing your good deeds, they may instead come to glorify God in the day of visitation when he looks upon them with mercy. You can hear, is Peter now speaking? He said, conduct yourself. In a way that even if they speak against, there will be a day of visitation. Conduct yourself. They are looking at you. But make sure that by the time when God visits, they will be ashamed when they see that God is honoring you. You know this scripture is speaking another way. It means most of the time, we try to adjust to make people to understand. And we lose conduct so that we get whatever we want to get so that they understand. So listen here, the Bible says, conduct yourself. Conduct yourself. There will be a day of visitation. Conduct yourself. And they will be ashamed when they see what God is about to do in your life. Character humility is needed. I don't know if you're hearing that. Let me give you another scripture there. If we read 1 Corinthians 3 from 10 to 15, you will see that you can still have works, but those works will be tested. Okay, just read that verse from 10 to 15. When Paul was talking about Jesus is the foundation, everybody must be careful how he lay. 
because you know every work you do will be tested by fire. In other words, don't ever think what you are doing, it's over there. There will be a reward. Are you hearing that? There will be what? A reward. A reward. So the, those works will be tested by fire. Like I'm preaching now. In the last day, my preaching will be tested. I check if I deserve to add. You have got nothing to do with anyone. No, I say you have got nothing to do with anyone. Whether I've got two people in the church, my preaching will be tested. My prayers will be checked. By fire. You know, uh, I wish everybody's listening to me. If, before God, you stand alone. Your works will be put inside the oven. If your works are of fire. I don't know if you hear me. But you will receive rewards. If your works can come out as works. Do you know that some of you, even now, what, what you are doing is being checked. What you are doing now, the fire is coming. The wind comes. Challenge comes to test your work of faith. If it's of faith, you will carry on. Do you know why we carry on? The work of faith, the work of faith makes us to carry on. So, Everything that we start, it starts small. We are energized by God. It's only God who gives us strength to move forward. It's possible that we can meet all. There will be fire. You know, there was something that was happening here. I'll just give an example by, you know, churches. Can I give an example by churches? Sometimes I, I was... When, by the time when we started the ministry, the ministry was not issues of, I want to be rich. Or that thing was not there. So even the issue of, I want to go to Bible school, you know, it was issue that, you know, you feel you have to do it because. But by that time, some people began to emerge. They are called when they are called, when they just try to grow, they leave jobs. When the church goes small, they search for a job. I knew what was happening. I knew that this fire testing their works of you know when God wants to, to allow it for you to be net, because test is from God. It's not temptation. It's not temptation it's from Satan. And temptation is evil. Test is from God. God will just allow your work to be tested. When it's being tested, you find another one is going. Another one. You find, you find, you find and you find everybody have got his own idea. Even the people you trust, you find they are retaliating. Don't look on them. Don't look at them. You are still going far. As you are going far, God will never allow you to fail. I don't know if you are hearing me. I say you are still going far. Carry on to what God wants you to do. As you are carrying on, You'll be surprised you are on the other side of the tunnel. I don't know if you are hearing me. We need Christians who are saying, I don't mind. I don't mind. I know why God placed me here. So I've seen those pastors. Who are like, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm sure when people leave, they begin to apply sins. They begin to apply sins. They get a job, 
Satan knows how to play with them. And from there, they come back. People come. When they get job, people come. When they start to be serious with the ministry, people go. Because they must prove a point that truly they are called. And they must believe fully in the word of God. And when you believe fully in the word of God, the word of God, God produces the works you desire. I don't know if you are hearing me. So there are many, many fire around us. So that you must stop continuing. If it is a works of faith, you don't mind. The storm will come. You carry on. Because you are establishing a rock. Which is Jesus Christ. The foundation. So the Bible says, whoever put a brick must be careful because this foundation has been laid and after you have done that your work will be checked your work have to be checked your work is about to be checked you must thank God for that challenge it's testing your work you must thank God for that fire it's for your work we don't talk here, we finish. Don't, you, you don't talk here, you don't say, I'm a Christian, it's over. No, what you said, you have called a test to be tested. Yes, we are called to be tested. You call also Satan to tempt you. The moment you say, I'm a pastor, I'm a pastor. You get a temptation. 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 Christians, even when you pray, he just uh, this one. I don't even mind that. He's doing nothing. Uh, oh, so if you want to stop it, let's send this one. He just press a button and oh, send this one to stop this one. Some of you, you were doing the best. But, but Satan has stopped you. I don't know if you are hearing me. From today, I believe God will help you to carry on with the works of faith. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Say, I want to carry on. I'm not looking I want to carry on. Oh, they against me. They lie against me. It's fire. Hatred, fire. Challenges. Lack of finance, fire. Delay. Carry on, carry on. You're about to enter there. I say you're about to enter there. Let me prophesy you. After this service, you will go to the next level. I say you are going to the next level. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let, let's read maybe one scripture we close maybe. Romans 2 verse 6. Maybe we can just read the scripture one. We close. Romans 2 verse 6. 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 Romans 2 will pay us according to our works. According to our works. Do you ever read where Jesus said? You people, you want to stone me. Tell me the work that you want to stone me for. You say what? We are not stoning you for the works. We are stoning you for the blasphemy. Because the works are there to defend you. Your works announce you. So now, Jesus said, okay, which work? They say, oh, all the works shows you a Messiah. You remember Nicodemus who said, you all know that what you are doing is from above. So now, if you people want to succeed, you can silence the enemy by your works. By your works. Say, by your works.